Join the crew of the Mayatla as we visit the Galapagos Islands. These unique isolated islands have given birth to amazing creatures, birds and plants that you will find nowhere else on the planet. And inspired a young Charles Darwin who created a theory of evolution and we would never see the world the same again. We were enjoying getting to know San Cristobal. The boat had a good anchorage, and surprisingly, we were able to find everything we needed to get the boat back up to snuff. The first priority, of course, was the fuel injector pump so that Andy could get the motor running. 11 days at sea and 1,100 nautical miles had done their bit on the crew and the boat, so it was time to relax. Good place to start your uh, trip is here, which is the tourism office. With boat chores done, we were ready to go out there and play tourist. He's drinking from the cactus flower. The truth is that if you waited long enough, everything came to you. We were starting to really feel like we belonged here in Puerto Bacarizo Moreno. Aren't you kidding? Yes you are. We've been hanging around here for about a week now, getting to know everybody, and making friends with the resident uh, Galapagos sea lions. Waiting to go in, eh? <laughs> Today we were going to explore. $20 each got us a cab for the day. There was only one catch though. It was a truck and there was seven of us. Nick, Terry and I did the noble thing and chose to sit in the back. Besides, that's where all the cool stuff happens. As we headed into the highlands of San Cristobal Island, the weather changed very quickly. You look a bit damp there, Nick. Taking a little breather. That's down there. And that's up there. That's right, that's the sound of my heavy breathing. It's quite a climb up here, eh? Taking this is one of many volcanoes on the Galapagos. We are looking inside the crater of an extinct volcano. How cool is that? And just around the corner was Galapagos' most famous animal, and who the Galapagos Islands are named after. Galapagos Tortoise Breeding Station. This was a moment I have been waiting for since we left on our trip. The giant tortoise known as the Galapagos. It's a breeding center where the local species of Galapagos are being bred. Each of the islands have their own distinct tortoise. You can identify them by the shape of their shell. The tortoises move freely here. It's almost like seeing them out in nature. These are just one of two groups left of giant tortoises in the world, where once they thrived throughout the continents. Males behind us, and we just watched a little uh, skirmish over some food, and there was a little pushing 
battle fight. <laughs> turtle fight, turtle fight. <laughs> Did you see him sneak a bite? Boys will be boys. This is where the guys hang out. That's the fastest they go. That's what you saw earlier. He's like, oh, that's my leave. He's like, nope, it's mine. I'm taking it over there. They eat in front of you. When the Spaniards explored these islands in the 1500s, they named the islands the Galapagos after these tortoises. Galapagos means in Spanish, tortoise. These gentle creatures would have been easy pickings for the sailors that would follow. They would load them onto their boats and flip them on their backs, keeping them alive as a source of meat. They could last for months like that. This cruel practice continued for over three centuries, taking the population from 250,000 to an estimated 3,000 in the 1970s. Can you imagine what Charles Darwin thought when he saw these guys? They would play a crucial role in his development of his theory of evolution. There's my buddy. He's actually going out there and checking out the different people. They're looking at the tortoise, the tortoise looking at the people. There you go. It's breeding centers like these that are trying to get the numbers built up again. It's a baby. Aww. Good baby. The center also has some interesting oh, wow. vegetation and plant life that's only native to here. Conservation efforts focus on getting the tortoise large enough to be able to release back into the wild. These are little babies. They're so tiny. They're maybe about three and a half inches. They're so cute. I want to play with them. They're adorable. Aww. Tortoise eggs will hatch in four to eight months. When they're born, they'll be on their own. It's a tough world out there. After visiting San Cristobal's Highlands, it was nice to get to the sunniness of Porto Chino. This gorgeous white sand beach provided a welcome swim. Tope. After all that exploring, it was time to get a bite to eat. How fresh is that, Nick? It's the best banana I've ever had in my life. It's so good. Mm. Look at that. And that's where he got it from, right there. We explored the gardens and the flowers while waiting for dinner. What do you got there? Cameroon? Cameroon with nuts. Cameroon with nuts. I have Diablo Cameroon. This is ceviche. And that guy in the far end has lobster. Oh, look at that. Oh. Welcome, Galapagos. A taxi tour driver was proud to show off his country. We were happy to ride in the back of his cab. <laughs> and our last stop was something we hadn't seen before. A giant tree house. He's been on the boat for a while. He's going to do a workout. Yeah, one, uno. 
Have you ever heard of a tree house with a basement? Jan decided to stay out and play with the dog, but we were suckers for a tree house. Hey, for a few bucks, you can spend the night in here. It'd be pretty cool, eh? The wind is coming. It's really rocky. Is that for a cool tree house, eh? It's going down. It's wobbly. Things are cracking. Watch out! Here he goes! Hmm, maybe not. Join us in our next video when we go snorkeling and explore Kicker Rock and all kinds of underwater adventures. Give us a thumbs up or please subscribe.